Good afternoon, friends. A traditional briefing based on the results of analysis of fake spread by Russian propaganda in the context of the war against Ukraine. One of them is the creation of an illusion about the alleged support of the local population for their occupational actions, in particular attempts to create the Kherson People's Republic, the so-called republic which will bring only grief and misfortune to Ukrainian lands, as well as the creation of certain prerequisites for effective referendums. Here it is only necessary to repeat the official position of the Ukrainian authorities, that any initiatives regarding the so-called referendums, fictional sessions of local councils, distribution of passports in the occupied cities, be it Kherson, Okhovka, Genichinsk, are absolutely miserable attempts. And when the Russian troops leave the territory of Ukraine, and this will definitely happen, all collaborators will be prosecuted in accordance with the criminal code of Ukraine. Another fake which is allegedly spreading is that Ukraine has refused to provide green corridors for the evacuation of civilians. In particular, it was distributed by the head of the National Defense Center that goes by Mizitsev. And he said that Russia provided humanitarian corridors from five cities eight times, but none of them was approved by Kyiv. It warrants an explanation of this, of the essence of the deception. This is, the deception is that they offer these humanitarian corridors for the evacuation of people not in the direction of Ukraine, not in the direction of the territory controlled by the government in Kyiv, but in the direction of the already occupied territories or Russia proper. That is, first they came to our land, created a humanitarian catastrophe, and then they offered the lo local population to evacuate to their lands thus also showing their humanitarian power, which is a very cynical technology and a repetition of their hybrid war tactics. Also, Russia continues to use the method of reflected news, that is, as soon as something happens on Ukrainian territory, they create mirror reports through their propaganda mouthpieces. In particular, the shot of the bombing of the maternity hospital number two in Mariupol flew around the world. Now they are already creating a fake from their side, that allegedly the Ukraine military fired at the hospital in Volnavakha. It is through such symmetrical actions they are trying to shift the responsibility for the criminal actions to Ukraine. At the same time, Russia bombed the Yavorsky training ground and through its propaganda literally called it a NATO military base. At the same time, through their propagandists such as Solovyov, they spread false reports that foreigners, foreign instructors and so on have died there. In particular, they report that, quote, among the dead as a result of the night strike on the Yavorsky training ground turned into a NATO base, there were foreign advisors and specialists. Well, firstly, this is a lie. At the time of a broadcast, there is no evidence of the deaths of foreigners. Moreover, there are those official instructors who worked at the training ground left this territory much earlier, before these terrible events occurred. In addition, Russian propaganda spread utter reports that the Yavorsky training ground itself was allegedly used as a training base. They said that it was a NATO center, but it was a training base for the Azov and Aydar battalions. Of course, these are all fakes. This training ground has nothing to do with either Azov or Aydar or NATO. It is under the control of the National Academy of Ground Forces of Ukraine of Hetman Petro Sayadachny. And they spread fakes in the international media that allegedly Ukraine received a proposition to surrender, and this proposition was already voiced by the Prime Minister of Israel during a conversation with Zelensky. The official position of the Ukrainian authorities, voiced by the advisor to the head of the office, Mikhail Podolak, is as follows. The Prime Minister of Israel, like other countries that act as mediators, absolutely did not offer and do not offer Ukraine to agree to any condition of Russia that is impossible due to the military political situation. On the contrary, Israel offered Russia to more adequately assess the state of military operations on the territory of Ukraine. Thank you for your attention. Be critical, filter the information around you, trust the Ukrainian army, the Ukrainian political leadership. Everything will be fine. Glory to Ukraine.